For whosoever shall do the will of my Father that is in heaven, he is my brother and sister and mother. Words from today's Holy Gospel for this Ember Wednesday. The Lord has told us the will of the Heavenly Father is that we love God and we love our neighbor. The act of love tells us this involves forgiveness of sins, forgiveness of all injuries. The act of love goes like this. Oh my God, I love thee with my whole heart because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of thee. I forgive those who have injured me and ask pardon for those whom I have injured. Amen. Our Lord said, if you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. In the Our Father, the Pater Noster, we say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, St. Teresa of Jesus, the great Carmelite mystic, she used to say that she liked it when someone committed some injury against her or offended her. Why? Because then she had someone to forgive. And if she had someone to forgive, then God would have to forgive her all her offenses. In fact, she says, the prayerful soul even rejoices that such opportunities present themselves so that the soul can show the Lord some love. Lord, let me show you some love. Let me forgive all injuries. In other words, given the context of her discussion, the contemplative soul seems even to welcome offenses from others because then it has a chance to forgive, to forgive others as God has forgiven it. In this way, this soul, the contemplative, imitates its Savior and fulfills the gospel. And that makes her very happy. No wonder then, we hear in the first lesson today, on this Ember Wednesday, how Moses was able to enter into the mystical marriage on the seventh day. He had lots of chances, didn't he, to forgive others. The offenses of those stiff-necked Israelites were many, and he took advantage of this. Forgiveness of sins leads to contemplative prayer. Forgiveness of sins is connected to contemplative prayer. Forgiveness of sins is a way to show love to God. Listen to St. Ambrose commenting on the creation of Adam. He wonderfully states, God created heaven. I do not read that he rested. He made the sun, the moon, and the stars. There too, I do not read that he rested. But I read that he made man who fell on the same day on which he was made, the sixth day. And only then did he rest, having someone whose sins he could forgive. Wow. Think about it. What is this great father of the church saying? It would seem from this saying of St. Ambrose, this profound statement that God allows injuries in our life to come to pass so that we can be like the Savior, His Majesty, our King, so that we can do what He did, forgive and rest with God. Wow, that's an amazing thing. Why have I been injured? So that you can forgive so that you can rest with God, so that you can do what God did, forgive. Therefore, it is the will of God that we forgive. Forgiveness opens the door to deeper union and prayer with our Lord Jesus Christ. 
And unforgiveness blocks it. Father, I can't pray. I'm stuck. Well, do you have an injury in your life that you've not forgiven? That might be one of the reasons. Having opportunities to forgive leads to resting with God and with God forgiving all our transgressions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.